Tomorrow marks 20 years since the terror attacks of September 11th. Nearly 3,000 Americans were killed and at least 10 of them had connections to the Hoosier State. The highest ranking member of the armed forces killed in America's war on terrorism was this man, Lieutenant General Timothy Maud, a graduate of the Latin School in Indianapolis. His widow, now returning to Indianapolis tomorrow, in fact, to mark that day of remembrance. Box 59's Russ McQuay has her story. Timothy Maud always described himself simply as a soldier, rarely as a three-star general or architect of one of the Army's most successful recruiting campaigns. Recruiting in the Army had almost reached a crisis point. It was difficult to achieve and accomplish. One of the things that the Army of One campaign did was to finally, for the first time in several years, for the Army, allow the Army to meet its recruiting goals. As the head of Army personnel, Tim Maud was holding a meeting inside the Pentagon on the morning of September 11th, and Terry Maud was watching TV in San Diego when the first planes hit the World Trade Center. Short while later, of course, I saw the inset in the bottom right-hand corner of the TV that showed the Pentagon burning, and that's when I kind of first became aware that you know our nation was at war. I did get a call that afternoon from the Vice Chief of Staff of the Army and told me it didn't look good, which by that point in time I had already surmised. He said, what can we do? And I said, so you can get me the hell out of here. And he said, well, Terry said, the only plane that's flying right now is the Pentagon, is the president's plane. And I said, sir, I'm not picky. Terry Maud made it home and drove past the ruins of the Pentagon the next day. And that's when she knew her husband was among the first casualties of the new war. They gave their lives doing their ordinary, everyday job that ordinary, everyday people do ordinarily every day. And if you're doing your job, you're doing what you can for our nation, for our country. As long as you are doing your job, then you are working in defense of those freedoms and choices and opportunities that we all hold dear. So all of those Hoosiers gave their lives for our country. A piece of the World Trade Center in downtown Indianapolis reminds Hoosiers of the sacrifices that were made that day. I'm proud to say that I learned things from Tim that when I became a senior officer that I incorporated because uh, he was probably the most, one of the most unpretentious people I've ever met. He took care of soldiers. That's what it was all about. He was a soldier's soldier. Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. A soldier's soldier, and we honor him and thank him, like so many others, for their service.